Good afternoon, boys and girls, and welcome back to West Home School. My name is Mr. Barnett, and this is... Hi, I'm Miss Thompson. And we are two of the PE teachers here at West Home School. We teach PE all the way from preschool all the way up to year 13, along with the rest of our department. On that, we have a very special guest for you later on today. We're going to introduce you to the head of PE here at West Home School, Mr. Purdy, and he's going to come on and be a special guest for us a little bit later. Now, this week, as I'm sure you all know, is Mental Health Awareness Week. And here at West Home, our theme for that is Express Yourself. So our warm-up today is all going to be about expressing yourself. I'm going to say the name of a colour in a moment, and then I'm going to stand very still and not move. When I say the name of the colour, I'm going to give you 10 seconds or so just to have a little think about what you think of when I say the name of that colour. It might be how it makes you feel. It might be an object that you feel. And I just want you to move how that object makes you feel or what you think of with that colour. Okie dokie. So the first colour I'm going to give you is yellow. Standing still, yellow. And if you can't think, don't worry, because I'm going to give you some ideas in a moment. So, yellow. There we go. So, you've had a chance to think now. So, yellow. Yellow is one of my favourite colours, and it makes me really happy. Shall I tell you why? Because it makes me think of sunbathing on the beach. Oh, sunbathing, oh, sunbathing on the beach. It also makes me very happy because it makes me think of building sand castles on the beach. Can you see how I'm digging the sand into my bucket here and then I'm turning my bucket out and there I'm making a big sand castle. It also makes me feel very happy because as Miss Thompson's about to show you, it makes me think of sunflowers. And sunflowers, we practiced a few weeks ago, and they grow like this. And then we start in a ball, and we go slowly, oh, really slowly, oh, onto oh, our tiptoes, reaching high with the head of our sunflower, reaching for the sunshine, that's it. Yellow. Remember, we practiced this a few weeks ago. Oh. Yellow, fantastic. The next colour I'm going to give you is black. Black. Now, sometimes people might say, well, black makes me feel a bit sad because there's an expression, I'm in a bit of a black mood, I'm feeling like this, a bit sad. But do you know what? It makes me feel quite happy as well, black, because it makes me think of my dog. My dog was called Max, and he had a black coat, and I used to love stroking him. And I would stroke him like this, and I would take him to the beach a lot of times. I used to live near a beach. And I would throw him sticks. I would throw him sticks. Throw him sticks. And he would go running off. <laughs> and he would get the stick. <laughs> and he would bring it back to me. And I would throw it again. Off again. <laughs> oh, I'm trying not to laugh too hard. So it makes me laugh quite hard, that one. So I that's what does black mean? Black makes me think of the night and the night sky. So I was thinking maybe stars. like stars, stars in the sky. All like over this the place. reaching down. There's Ooh. loads of stars, isn't there? What there does is. black make you think of? How does it make you feel? That's it could make one. us feel like sleepy as well because obviously it's dark at night, isn't it? Sleepy bye-byes. La la salama. That's it. Mm. Stars. There's loads of oh, ones. I wonder what's next. Fantastic. The next colour I'm going to think about is green. Have a think about green. Green. I'm going to give you a moment to think about green. I'm going to tell you what I think of. I think that's the same one. Oh, green. Is it to do with something beginning with the letter T? No. Oh, well, my, <laughs> I'm going first because I'm talking now. So my favourite thing about the colour green is the trees. Oh, the trees swaying the in the wind. The trees swaying in the wind. Swaying in the wind. I do love my trees. What was yours, Miss Thompson? Mine was the grass. Grass. So it's, it's pretty similar, really. Very isn't similar. It? Grass Except... is low down. And maybe we could swing low, shifting our weight from one side to the other. Ooh. Like the grass 
I wonder what else, what emotion does green make us feel? Well, I'll tell you what it makes me think of, Miss Thompson, seeing as you're doing grass. It makes me think of cutting my grass with my lawnmower. <laughs> so I'm cutting my grass, and then I'm going to have to empty it like that. So, there's green. Anything else that you thought of? Well done, that's fantastic. Okay, next colour, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, next colour is blue. Ooh, okay, so, I've got one. Easy. Have yeah, a little think it. about blue. Miss Thompson, you go first. Blue. Okay. Blue makes me think of my favourite thing, Ooh. which is swimming Ooh, yeah. in the sea. Yes, so I'm swimming in the sea. I'm going to swim Ooh. like this, arms over the top. I love swimming. It's one of my favourite things to do. Oh, I've had enough front crawl. I think I'm going to... Oh, you're doing breaststroke. I'm going to do backstroke. Change. Bit of backstroke. We love swimming. Oh, we love swimming here at West Ham. We, we do quite a lot of swimming in our pool here at West Ham, don't we, Mr. Very Thompson? exciting, we do. We certainly do. What else do we do? Well, in the sea, there's big waves. Waves! <laughs> Maybe we could do waves. I'll tell you what, if you're doing waves, I'm going to do some surfing. Everybody go surfing. <laughs> surfing USA. <laughs> Woo! So that's our, that's our blue. So, anything you thought of? Really, really well done. But boys and girls, it's time to introduce you to somebody. This is Mr. Purdy. Mr. Purdy, welcome to your first ever Hi guys. live Thank you session. <laughs> so Mr. Purdy is, come on in, come on Hi in guys. Mr. Purdy. Thank you. So Mr. Purdy is the head of PE here at West Home. So he, he's our boss. So we've got to be really nice to him. Hi, Mr. Purdy, how are you? I'm Do very well, thank tea? you. Oh, I would love a cup of tea. Uh, okay. Mr. Purdy, can I just ask you to, to step off stage for a moment? We need Seriously. to get a set for our next one. You might see Mr. Purdy in a moment. Now, boys and girls, it's also National Storytelling Week. So we're going to continue our theme with a story. But the story with a West Home twist. Now, before I start, boys and girls, and particularly to the parents who are listening, up in the uh, top right-hand corner there, you will see a hashtag, West Home Workout. We would love to hear from you. So use the hashtag on any of the socials, and we have our media manager here ready to respond to you, give you shout-outs, whatever. We'd love to see some pictures of your children having a go at the activities we do. So we are going to do a dance and movement-based activity today, and it's based on the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood with a West Home twist. So, boys and girls, the first thing I need to do is I'm going to vacate the stage. And I'm going to introduce you to Little Red Riding Hood. A bit of imagination needed here. I look very so, suspiciously like Miss Thompson. Well, I am look. Little Miss Red Riding Hood. I'm sorry. So, one day, Little Red Riding Hood was skipping through the forest, swinging her arms, with a basket full of goodies, scones, to take to her grandmother's house. Now, boys and girls, can you join in? And can you skip round like Little Red Riding Hood is? Can you have a go? So Little Red Riding Hood here, she's going to keep skipping round. Look at that, getting knees up high, swinging arms, and a little bit faster, please, Little Red Riding Hood. You've got a long way to go to get to your grandmother's house. So skipping along, skipping along, there she goes. Well done for joining in and copying those motions. Can and, we try it to the beat? Oh, let's try it to the beat, Miss Thompson. Okay, now because we're uh, dancing, <laughs> we're going to be dancing to the beat of eight, like we have done every week. So we're going to skip to the beat. Are we ready? Are we ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try again, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, and Little Red Riding Hood goes skipping off, taking the well-trodden path off to her grandma's house. And we wave goodbye to Little Red Riding Hood. Now, boys and girls, as ever, I promise to tell you if there's a scary part to the story coming up. This isn't a scary part. It's a scary part coming up later, but this isn't. A scary part. The next character I need to introduce you to is something called the Big Bad Wolf. So boys and girls, this isn't the scary part. 
little, so boys and girls, I'm going to introduce you now to the big bad wolf who looks suspiciously like Mr. Purdy. Oh, here he comes. Now, can you copy the movements that the big bad wolf is making? Can you see he's taking really big steps and he's making his body really wide? He's going from high to low, really big steps, isn't he? Now, Big Bad Wolf, if I can stop you there for a second, I should explain. The Big Bad Wolf sadly misunderstood. The Big Bad Wolf only doing what wolves do, and they like to eat, don't they? And the Big Bad Wolf was thinking to himself, mmm, empty tummy, little red riding hood, and grandma, mmm, tasty snacks and dinner. So the, the Big Bad Wolf was, was really thinking with his tummy. Anyway, boys and girls, do you think you can move to the beat like the big bad wolf does? So, big bad wolf, are you ready to go again with those yes. big steps? Okay, here we go. Big bad wolf, let's go. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Anyway, the big bad wolf had done enough jumping round on the clearing of the forest, shall we say. So the big bad wolf thought, I know, I know a shortcut. Oh, look, there goes the red riding hood again. The big bad wolf thought, I know, I know a shortcut to little red riding hood grandma's house. So he takes the shortcut. And on this shortcut, there are logs he has to jump over and there are branches he has to duck under. So shall we see the big bad wolf running off to grandma's house? Here comes the big bad wolf running off. Look, ducking under branches. Jump, he's going to jump over this great big log here. Wow, there we go. Shall we try doing that one to the beat as well, boys and girls? Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Brilliant. And off the big bad wolf goes to grandma's house, ready to get there before Little Red Riding Hood. Speaking of Little Red Riding Hood, here she is. And she arrives at grandma's house. Now, Little Red Riding Hood skips up to the door and she knocks on the door and she opens the door. And can you see how Little Red Riding Hood is leaning right forward, putting all her weight onto her front leg as she leans forward and knocks on the door. And we're going to try and do that movement to the beat as well. She's going to do four skips, three knocks, and one open of the door. So, okay. Little Red Riding Hood, are you ready to go? I think so. Are we ready? So, remember, it's four skips, two, three, four. Three knocks and one open the door because that adds up to 32. Oh, no. Little Red Riding Hood. Have <laughs> that adds not, up to eight. Have you not learned? Okay, well done. You, you were being a bit silly there, weren't you? Little okay, so it adds up to eight, which is how many beats we need for our dance. Are we ready? So let's practice together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, open. Let's try it to the go. beach. Let's try it again. To the beach. We, we could go to we the, could beach, go to the beach, beach, but we'll do it to the beach, yeah, shall we? Yeah. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, there we go. And Little Red Riding Hood goes into Grandma's house. Hello, Grandma, Grandma, Grandma she calls. Where are you? And she goes through into the bedroom where Grandma is tucked up in bed with the covers over her head. And Little Red Riding Hood tries to wake Grandma up by calling to her. Grandma, is and, that you? And the covers come down, revealing Grandma's eyes. And Little Red Riding Hood says, Oh my, Grandma, what big eyes you have. Hmm. There's our first movement we're going to do on this one. So should we try that one here, look? We're going to step forward and do a big blinking eyes. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. 
Well done. We're only going out to four on that one. You'll see why in a moment. Should we try that one more time, please? Let's go. What big eyes you have. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. And grand, grandma, is that grandma? Grandma in bed. She can't really hear what Little Red Riding Hood says, so she uncovers an ear. <gasps> oh, the, my grandma. Here's our second movement on this sequence. We're going to step this way for four and then this way for four. Okay, so, are we ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done. Now, Grandma tries to speak to <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood and says, Come closer, dear. Right. Closer, dear. And then doing that, she opens her mouth. And Little Red Riding Hood says, Oh my, Grandma, what big teeth you have. Oh, and here's our third movement. So we're stepping, putting our weight onto our back leg, leaning back, opening our arms in horror. So we've That's got... Should we run through them slowly? We've got three movements in this sequence. So we've really? got what big eyes you have, which is a step forward and blink. We've got what big ears you have, and that's both ways, isn't it? And then we've got what big teeth you have, and that's a step back in horror. Oh, scary stuff. Okay. So here we go. We're going to put them all together. Are we ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Brilliant. Well done, everybody at home. Well done. I tell you what, we would love to see that sequence. If you've got someone there who can video you, send it in on that hashtag up there. We would love to see that. That would be great. But our story does not end there, boys and girls, because at this point, the big bad wolf reveals himself to Little Red Riding Hood. He throws back the covers and goes just like that. Now, boys and girls, we have the scary part coming up, okay? Very scary. The scary part. So just listen to the story and you'll see the scary part. You'll, you'll see it. So, normally, traditionally, little boys and girls, when confronted with a big bad wolf wanting to eat them, generally, they would run away crying and being really a little bit upset. But Little Red Riding Hood has had the benefit of a good education. And she realizes that she has to confront her problems face on, not run away from them. So Little Red Riding Hood knows that she has to scare the wolf off because wolves can be scared off. So Little Red Riding Hood becomes, and here's the scary part, becomes the scariest monster you can possibly imagine. Okay, are we ready? Because I think you'll agree that's pretty scary. And look what happens to the big bad wolf. He ran away. He's run away. Well done, little red riding hood. That's fantastic. Well done. So can we all become monsters like little red riding hood? She's going to show you how it's done. Okay, we're starting low. We're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should we try again? No, I think we, we need to try that one more time. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Brilliant. I told you that was pretty scary, didn't I, boys and girls? Anyway, it's just Little Red Riding Hood. So, just... the big bad wolf has been scared off. And Little Red Riding Hood thinks, well, where's Grandma? Where can Grandma be? So she goes around the house. She looks behind some curtains. Not there, she looks under the bed. Not there, she looks in the spare room. Not there, and she thinks, ah, oh, I know, the bath. She goes and looks in the bath, 
big little red riding hood, big big silly, which is a great big cupboard over there she needs to look in. So she goes to the cupboard, she opens the cupboard and finds Grandma in the cupboard. And Grandma comes out the closet and they do a celebratory dance. Oh, you really so, celebration. Boys and girls, have a look at this dance. Uh, little Red Riding Hood and Grandma are going to run through this once and then we'd like you to try and join in as well. Here okay. we go, we're going to go step, kick, step, kick. Kick, step, kick. There we go. So, boys and girls, can we try and join in with Little Red Riding Hood and Grandma? So, here we go. Are we ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Brilliant. I, I, can we just have that one more time? Of course Because I think it's such a joyous thing to have Little Red Riding Hood dancing with her grandma. I think so too. Are we ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After their dance, they're a little bit hungry. So they sit down and they get out the scones that Little Red Riding Hood had in her basket. Now, we come up against a problem, boys and girls, because some people, like Grandma, like to put cream on their scone first and then strawberry jam. But Little Red Riding Hood thinks that's very wrong. Little Red Riding Hood likes to put the jam on first and then the cream. Now, for a lot of people, this can be quite a divisive issue. But because everyone's free to express themselves how they like, they get on with it and they enjoy their scones and together. And nice cream tea together. Beautiful. Lovely. And do you know what? We can finish this story with my favourite words. My favourite ending is, and they all lived happily, happily ever, ever after. after. Now, boys and girls, we've told you the story, but now we need to put all the movements together, because remember, this is all about our dance and movement. We need to put everything together. So we're going to start off with Little Red Riding Hood skipping through the forest. We're then going to have the big bad wolf coming on, going to Grandma's house, jumping over logs and ducking under branches. Alrighty. So we're going to go straight through, but we're going to do everything twice. So that if you miss a transition, that's absolutely fine. Just join in when you can, and then the second time round, we'll have it down perfectly, won't we? Boys and girls, are you ready to do the skipping through the forest? Here we go. Are we ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Think the big bad wolf seven, might be about to come. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight. One, two, three, knock on the door four, in a moment. five, six, seven, eight. Try again. We're skipping up to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The big eyes you have now. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the One, teeth two, coming up. Three, four, five, six. Seven, We're going to run through that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to have Little Red Riding Hood becoming a monster. Scary part. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, we're going to have our celebratory dance. Are we ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done, boys and girls. Well done, little red riding hood, big bad wolf and grandma. Well done, boys and girls at home. So that's our first run through. So hopefully you can remember now some of those movements. Remember, if you don't quite make the transition in time, don't worry. Just look at what Little Red Riding Hood or, or Big Bad Wolf and Grandma are doing, and you can join in again on the second round because everything has been counted to eight to the beat, 
and then repeated, isn't it? So that you can make that. Alrighty. So we're going to go through, for the final time, we're going to go through the whole sequence. Okay, here we go. Final time. Final Let's time. Make it the well, hang on. Before, before, we, before we start, yeah. boys and girls, remember, we would love to see pictures or videos oh, of you doing this. Use the hashtag in the top right-hand corner here. All right, send them in, and we would love to either give you a shout-out or we would just love to see it on our socials. So give it a go, please. All right, Little Red Riding Hood, are you ready for the grand finale? Here we go. Here we go, ready. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to grandma's house and knocking on the door. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, repeat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're in grandma's house and we're going to say, What big eyes you have? One, two, three, four, what big five, you have. six, Seven, eight. What big one, teeth two, three, do you have? Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Scary part eight. coming up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Seven, eight. And the celebratory dance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done. And well done, boys and girls at home. If you join in with anything there, we are really, really proud of you. And I'm going to show you what we like to do at West Home, especially when we're on our own. If we've joined in, if we've tried our hardest, what we do is we get our hands here, we pat ourselves on the back, and we say, well done, me. Because sometimes you might be the only person in the room, and someone's got to congratulate you. So if you tried hard today, if you joined in, well done. We are very, very proud of you. Absolutely. So, boys and girls, obviously... This is a live stream going out here on a Wednesday at, uh, what time did we start? 12.30. But of course, it's recorded on our YouTube channel. So if you wanted to watch it again, do any of it again, it's on our YouTube channel. Um, go to that uh, YouTube, just type in West Home School. You will find us. Very, very simple. Um, and pass it on to your friends. Tomorrow, we do a key stage 2-1, same time, 12.30. So it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. See you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.